What's up, everybody? This is Jonathan, the Passive Income Guy, where we teach you strategy to have money work for you instead of you working for money. And today I'm super excited to break down to you a full ecosystem and suite of financial product that is going to be a mastodont in the space. I'm talking about Delta Finance. Um, this is their website. We're going to break down everything for you uh, because there's a lot to cover and a lot that this protocol can offer. But first, let me profess everything by telling you that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. You have to do your own research. I'm just a guy on YouTube that is there to provide you with entertainment. We're going to go directly into the agenda. We're going to talk about what is Delta Finance, the team behind it. Um, also discuss the mechanics of the certificate of deposit, one of the main things where you can earn passive income, buying and selling the token and all the taxes around it, the bonding mechanics, the NFTs, um, a whole one pager about Delta Finance and its whole ecosystem. We're going to talk obviously about ROIs, don't worry, uh, sustainability and risk, and then conclusion and key dates, right? So Delta Finance uh, is a protocol, a DeFi protocol that is uh, currently on the AVAX network, so Avalanche, but they're planning to move it uh, to the Binance Smart Chain. It's, of, it's using uh, its own token called uh, the Delta Token. There's a pretty large team backing it. Uh, we're going to break down who the team is, uh, but some also uh, well-known YouTubers are part of the advisory uh, board, James Pelton, DeFi Crypto, Crypto Sensei, Serenity, and also myself. It's an ecosystem that includes rewards of Delta token through a certificate of deposit process with the possibility to boost rewards using NFTs uh, with a decaying APY that would start 20,000% APY on day one of the protocol launch. And then we'll basically decay day after day until reaching a floor of 15.8% APY. You can also have rewards of this protocol through quarterly protocol dividends. We're going to see this protocol is going to generate uh, revenue. And as uh, people that own the Delta token and lock it in CDs, you can also be part of this dividend pools. Um, you also have uh, ability to bond um, some of the uh, investment to receive token at a discount if you play it well. Delta token will use also as play to earn tokens in some of the, uh, I guess, partnership uh, part of the ecosystem, Games Hub, Warfi. Um, it will also be leveraging NFTs that are backed by our motorsports real uh, team drivers. It has deflationary mechanics that we're going to break down and then multiple, multiple revenue streams from Enchant Alliance product and services to game uh, launchpad fees, uh, own decentralized exchange, taxes, bonding, NFT sales. It's massive. Um, but so first, let's do a, a quick check on the team. This is the team that is behind the Delta team at the moment. You have Yusuf that is the founder. He's a test and reserve driver for Audi. And he's very well connected in the industry of the race cars. He has uh, experience running a business, obviously. He's KYC um, and will be ducks in the future um, because right now, you know, it's in conflict with that. his actually race car driving job. Um, we have the CEO, Chase Cluck. He's been a developer for the last four years. We have also not mentioned there the CTO, Joe Cluck. He has 45 plus year. I think done numerous jobs, including being the VP of a subsidiary uh, company of Intel and the inventor of video processing and conferencing on computers. He's run also multiple telemarketing uh, business and B2B based business. And then we have also the COO, Chris Monaco. He's also, uh, you can see him on YouTube. Uh, he's obviously doxxed. He's been a, a real life uh, financial advisor uh, in the real world with years of experience in the crypto industry. Um, and then we have a bunch of advisors. Some of you guys, uh, I'm sure you know, James Pelton. He's also in the multi-sig uh, of this uh, of the treasury. Uh, we have Robert Doyle, a crypto sensei, part of the Crypto Nair. Paul Dut uh, Dutton, he's also a YouTuber. There's myself, uh, recently added to the board of advisors. So I get a chance to have sneak peeks into what the team is doing in the back, uh, back end and also interact with the team members, uh, see how they organize, etc. Serenity Down. Kevin VH and then Horace Shoeboard. So a pretty, pretty large panels of team with various experiences, which makes it able to deliver on like this massive roadmap and ecosystem that is uh, Delta Finance. So first we have to talk a little bit about one of the main mechanics where we're going to be able to earn yield on this, through this protocol and it's through the, the process called Certificate of Deposit. 
that's a process that exists already in traditional finance. You can actually go to your local bank and basically, if you promise to lock your funds for a term, a certain period of time, then they will pay you uh, interest. Generally, it's monthly or quarterly, which will compound uh, over time. And then at the end of the term, you're able to take your principal plus your interest that you accumulated out. And so similarly, like Delta Finance is bringing a concept of certificate of deposit, but on the blockchain. So a similar to thing, you will have $1,000 worth of Delta token. You lock them for a given period. It could be one week or uh, all the way up to two years, whatever you decide. And then based on that, um, you will receive virtually a certificate of deposit. So proof that like you deposited, um, you know, uh, the funds. This uh, money, uh, Delta token, will be sent to the treasury where they will make it work for you uh, through the various income stream we're going to talk about. And then the idea is that every day you do those interests will be added to your principal, which will then compound the money more and more using the decaying uh, APY structure of 20, 20,000 at lunch and then decaying day after day after day, etc. So the timing of when you decide to deposit and how you, you lock up is going to have an influence on a return uh, that you're going to have. And then obviously at maturity, when the term ends, you can take your $1,000 in this example plus total interest. Right. So if we look at traditional finance, you know, it's a saving product. Same here with Delta Finance. Capital is locked um, in traditional finance in dollars or in currency uh, for a fixed term, right? One year, five years, etc. So it's a similar thing here, except that um, the, here in the contract is Delta tokens. And then you have between one week and two years. You don't have those five years available there. Uh, right. And then more uh, ability to lock in between one week and two years. You can do one month, three months, etc. Um, on the traditional finance, it's a fixed interest. So when you lock, there's an APY that is fixed. Um, typically, it's 3% right now in traditional finance, 3 5%, depending on your term and the amount of funds that you provide. Um, obviously, here, it's a much higher APY, starting at 20,000%, like I mentioned. Even at the end, after five years, it's 15.8%, so still way higher than traditional finance. The interest on traditional finance are compounded either monthly or quarterly, where here it's going to be daily, which is going to make the, the returns astronomical. There's some minimum deposit, typically in traditional finance, where here there's no minimum deposit. We talked about the decaying uh, APY. Also, cool things on the certificate of deposit by uh, Delta Finance is that you will have the ability to boost your APY uh, with your base, uh, provided that you own some certain core NFT, which we'll see. Locking also your funds will allow you to have other revenue stream um, and be participating in the dividends uh, that the project will distribute based on its revenue. Future years also, they want to turn some of those uh, certificate deposits into NFT themselves, where you would, could you leverage uh, those deposits as a collateral if you wanted to take a loan um, to leverage some funds. Right, so pretty pretty cool uh, concept there that they bring in the DeFi space and uh, really, really uh, key innovations there and obviously insanely high return as we'll see later in the video. So how does it work to buy and sell the tokens? So assuming that they will actually migrate to uh, the Binance Smart Chain to buy the token, you have uh, you need to have USD coin um, or other coins actually. But let's say for this example, it's USD, uh, uh, USDC coin, $1,000 you will receive $870. Why? Because the buy tax is a 13% base. It can go as low as 5% and as high as 15% tweakable by the protocols. Out of this tax, the 13%, 5% is going to burn the token. So here's one of our deflationary mechanism. 3% is going to be saved uh, in Delta tokens inside the treasury. And then 55% or $50 in this example will be saved in USDC coin in the treasury. And on the selling side, uh, we have a different tax, about 16% base, but up to 39%, which is pretty hefty. Uh, out of this, basically 8% will be burned. Uh, but if the sell tax was to increase, then over this 8%, up to 31%, it will be burned, right? This is the part of variable tax. 2% will be kept in the Delta token as a treasury. 6% will be kept in USDC in the treasury. And we'll have also uh, the concept of wealth tax. So if you own more than 1% of circulating supply, if you're selling, then uh, it will actually 
uh, tax you 10% more than this uh, base tax of sell tax. So say you were well at the tax belt as 16%, you will be at 26%, or 39%, you'll weigh 49%. And all those token from the well tax will be used uh, to burn, so create more uh, deflationary mechanics as well uh, for price appreciation. Um, so worst case scenario, if you were to give $1,000 of Delta token, you will receive $840 uh, with this base tax. If you're well, $740. And then worst case scenario, if tax was maximum, you would be at 610, and then the whale would be at 510. So pretty, pretty hefty taxes on the sell side, especially if you're a whale. Note that they have the concept of what's called happy hour. So randomly for just an hour, they're gonna announce it's happy hour, but instead of drinking beer, you have the ability to buy your Delta token at the discounted buy tax of 5%. And if you were to buy um, actually $10 worth of Delta at minimum, Randomly, someone will be excited to receive $100 worth of USDC. It's a pretty cool feature also to incentivize uh, buy pressure in case of uh, need. Uh, note that there will be also a transfer tax of 20%. Why? This is to, this is to prevent uh, the whales to gamify and create multiple wallets and avoid the whale tax here. If you were to transfer your token, um, you will be penalized with some 20% uh, uh, tax um, with 15% burn, 2% cap as delta, 3% in treasury, right? So pretty cool um, concept, pretty hefty taxes, but we're going to see that they're quickly going to be offset by like the potential returns of this uh, platform, which are pretty massive. So in terms of other mechanics, we are going to have the, the ability to bond, um, you know, with the treasuries. And so the way it works is that you're uh, committing a capital, in that case, $1,000 to the treasury, and then a treasury and commits to deliver to you a certain amount of Delta tokens at a fixed price in the future, right? So say that like the Delta price is at $100 and you want to bond with the treasury uh, and they say, all right, well, I'm going to give you 11 Delta tokens at $90 in seven days, right? Um, then you would enter this contract with the treasury. And so two scenarios would happen if the price stays at $100 or is higher, then you did a, a pretty nice profit because you get Delta tokens at a discount. So in this example, you know, uh, you would have $1,100 worth of Delta token, right? Um, so it's $100 profit for you, but $100 loss for the treasury that sold them at a discount. But the other case is if the price of Delta token was to drop after uh, you arrive at the seven days and you can receive your Delta token, then obviously you will have a loss because you will pay a hefty price of a thousand bucks and uh, you would have only $550 worth of uh, Delta token there. So you'll be at 450 loss and then the treasury is obviously doing a smart deal because they sell you the detail, the detail token at a premium, right? So pretty cool also mechanics that's gonna benefit the treasury if uh, if the user is not able to play right, but also benefit the user if played right. If you like the content of this video so far, feel free to smash the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Which part of the ecosystem are you most excited about? Leave a comment that helps the YouTube algorithm and let's get back to it. So talking about the NFTs, um, two kinds of NFTs, the core NFTs and a more sport NFT. So the core NFT are going to be important. There are three kinds, alpha, beta and gamma. Uh, costing $32, and $224 each. Note that Beta and Gamma will give you access to the white list uh, for this project when it's launched, if you get one. And the purpose of the NFT is to give you a boost of APY. So as the APY is decaying, right? Or um, this would allow you, when you freeze your fund to the specific deposit with one of the NFTs, to boost the space APY with the fixed APY coming from the NFT for a period of three months, right? And this will be used one time only, not reusable. Um, and that will allow you also in the context of receiving dividends uh, from the protocol to treasury to receive also a slight uh, boost of dividends. Pretty cool concept there. Uh, and we'll see that like I did some calculation and it's uh, it actually pays for itself uh, when you do the math. So this is something that could be very, very uh, advantageous for boosting the dividends, access to whitelist, and also uh, having more rewards. So not to be mixed with uh, the motorsport NFT. So those are NFTs that will be backed by real drivers and motorsports uh, teams and could be leveraged in a concept called play to, uh, play to earn games that Delta Finance will also provide. 
The founder, has already, Yusuf, has already partnered with Siran Singh Soki, which, who is a, a prodigy in the uh, rest car uh, world. Uh, so this is something that is innovative. I've never seen that in a space. Uh, pretty exciting. And it will des uh, deserve a video on its own because there is pretty interesting uh, digital race that you can do using those NFTs. And we'll have to break it down in, in a further video. But this looks super exciting. It will provide additional revenue for the protocol. All right. So if you were to summarize the whole Delta Finance uh, ecosystem, there's a lot to cover and the mechanics and the process. But it's super exciting because um, on the legend here, you'll see that pink is user configurable. Green is all the revenue streams. Blue is the rewards to the users. And then orange is their investment. The Delta Finance ecosystem is going to have massive amount of revenues coming from many different streams. We've seen, obviously, that um, there's going to be revenue stream coming from the taxes of buy and sales and transfers. We see that there is also a revenue stream coming from the bonding. There's going to be also uh, revenue coming for people that bought the, uh, the NFT. Right, the different kind of NFTs. <laughs> They're intended also to design their own very innovative uh, decks uh, to exchange with very innovative technology, which will also bring additional swap fees to the protocol. And then other different uh, areas will be that Delta Finance is part of the OnChain Alliance. If you don't know what OnChain Alliance is, it's a community of blockchain services that provide KYC service, audits, and all that kind of stuff. So pretty exciting there. And then all the revenues of people using the service will be uh, flowing through to the Delta Finance ecosystem. We have also the Playtrue and Motorsports NFT game, uh, which will have participation fees and then will also feed in revenue stream. And then super exciting too is the Crypto Games Hub. Also would deserve a video on its own. Um, it's a basically uh, launch pad for game developers uh, that, that, that are able to produce a game that will be hosted on this game hub. So it wants to be the Steam, basically, of DeFi. And for those of you that are maybe uh, too old to know, Steam is a, a hub that, that has a lot of games. And my, my favorite games actually on Steam were Counter-Strike and Half-Life, for those of you that remember. And so uh, you could find different kind of games. And it was the place to be to download games, play with other people, et cetera, like as a one-stop one shop for all the gamers in the industry. They want to do the same thing, but blockchain games uh, there and the cool thing is that uh, for developers they will have uh, their hub their marketing taking place off you know there's already traffic coming into the games hub for people to find the games and then delta finance will receive a cut in all the game fees a playroom aspect inside of it uh, that would feed uh, the ecosystem so pretty exciting stuff to help standardize the blockchain gaming industry there so that's a big big massive enterprise there and i'll have a video on this in the coming, uh, coming weeks. Warfi, actually, for those of you who know, um, that has uh, a released uh, first-person shooter already with a play-to-earn concept, uh, will be part of the Games Hub, and they're actually partnering Delta, Delta Finance um, in, this, uh, in this context. So pretty, pretty crazy amount of revenue stream flowing to the Delta Finance ecosystem and then feeding that treasury with uh, uh, money that would allow them to pay the people for the certificate of uh, deposit, like here on this uh, blue stream. Some of the revenue stream will be used to burn the token and create this deflationary pressure like we saw, for instance, on the taxes, but it will be the case also on the P2 Earn Motorsport. Another cool process that will be uh, part of the token when launch is what's called the PSM, so price stability mechanics. For those of you that are in hordes, uh, we call this the LMS system, so liquidity management system. So in simple terms, the protocol will buy the Delta token when the price wants to fall below $45 and would sell the Delta token when it goes above $55, maintaining this nice price stability and price uh, uh, range, which reinsures a lot of investors when they see a stable price, they're more likely to uh, invest in a protocol. And they'll be to do that because even at lunch, they'll be able to keep some of the pre-sale funds to be able to uh, fuel this PSM you know, and uh, in, in first weeks and first months of the protocol launch. This is a feature that might be turned off uh, later down the line if there's enough confidence and stability that is built within the protocol and the, all the actors and the uh, revenue stream. So super cool feature as well. I think it has been very successful with Fury that adopted that and Horde. People love that. So I love that this has this uh, feature right there.
we talked about the burn and then so the cool stuff is because we have so many revenue streams then the treasury will be able to provide to the users quarterly dividends it will be 10 percent of the protocol profit for this for, for this you have to qualify you have to have certificate of deposits that are uh, locked longer than three months it's proportional to the amount of delta tokens that you have locked inside of the uh, certificate of deposit and if you were to be a owner of the core nft you will be receiving also a bonus of the quarterly dividends uh, so pretty cool so second source of passive income for the different users uh, that leverage the certificate of deposit and then um, what you see here is the suite of financial product uh, that we will be presented with the whole Delta Finance ecosystem from uh, the Motorsport NFT and a play to earn game to uh, the core NFT and the boost on a certificate of deposit rewards to uh, buying and selling the token in itself for price appreciation to the bonding ability um, and save some money there with discounted price as well as the games hub uh, ability to play some games in, in a play to earn fashion and then obviously the core one being the certificate of deposit so a very well-rounded ecosystem and what is super exciting is that once this protocol launched in delta finance in january a lot of those revenue stream will be already present as a matter of fact some of those games hub and warfare will already be, already be, uh, be there the on chain alliance be there the taxes be there the bond uh, core nft sales etc the only one that would take place later uh, after lunch will be their own decentralized finance. So super exciting and a lot of good stuff there uh, to be able to sustain those payments. Okay, so we're gonna talk about uh, ROI now. I know that this is what you're looking for. Uh, there's so many combinations that are possible. If you have NFTs or an NFT, what is the price when you buy or don't buy? So to give you a rough examples of like the potential of this platform, this is the example of a thousand dollars investment with an NFT at 4,000%. And then starting to invest on day one to get those juicy 20,000 APY that are decaying. We range from $3,600 and $1, uh, basically uh, return capital. So basically 2601 profit um, after one week. The, each line basically is assuming you buy at $12 and you sell at $55. It includes all the sales and buys tax. The second one assumes that you buy and sell at $55 Delta token. So you see that basically going from one week all the way to two years in NFT, you range from $3,601 all the way to half a million dollars um, just with an investment of $1,000. So, um, and then even, even if you were to have a, a, to go with a price of $55 and you wouldn't uh, participate in a pre-sale to get basically this, um, uh, this token price at $12, you will still have, you know, uh, $114,000 after two years uh, having an NFT. This is why I wanted to show you that having an NFT pays for itself. You know, as you remember, the biggest NFT, $225, uh, $24. Well, if you looked basically in three months, um, and sorry, in six months and six months plus NFT, you can see that the difference between this number and this number is $400. So in other words, the NFT paid for itself here. It was the returns and becomes even more true if you have it uh, a little longer here. It's almost like, uh, what is it, $9,000 uh, gain with us having an NFT or not for $224 investment. All right, so this is the RI projection sheet. Uh, I will leave a link in the description uh, below uh, because you, there's a lot of parameters you can play with uh, to assess your return. This is uh, the input box where you'll be able to put your investment in dollars. Uh, the buy tax, the sell tax, I left, the, I left them at the base, but you're able to change them if you want to do the happy hour thing or not. Um, the investment uh, start day, so this is the part that is important because as I was trying to explain to you, basically the way the protocol is going to work is that day one of the launch, we're going to have the maximum APY at 20,000%, which is about 1.48% daily return. But then after that, every day that you wait to invest in a protocol, um, basically the APY will decrease the start APY. So 148, 147, etc., all the way down to uh, the last day uh, after four years, where well, it will be a flat 15.8% APY, which which is lower returns, obviously. Um, you can put also in the input box, then uh, your investment start day. Are you going to start investing on day one of launch or like five days after? 
are you going to lock up for 30 days, for 60 days, for 90 days, etc. The minimum being seven days. Remember that you have the uh, boost from the NFTs. You have to lock for at least 90 days. Uh, you can put the N NFT boost you're going to have the 600 percent, 1800 percent, or 4000 percent, and then you're able to put also the Delta token price at investment or at exit. Uh, you know, if you want to do the uh, 12 dollars uh, token price at investment. You can put it there and then here it will show you the graph of your capital um, before selling and then after selling taking into account those taxes and here you have your output of the amount of money that you'll receive uh, at, at the term so here for instance i'm starting i don't know 10 days and i'm going to lock it up for 90 days and i have a thousand dollars and we'll turn it to uh, uh, it will turn into ten thousand seven hundred twenty two dollars this is because I bought it at a discount price, but if I were to buy it at $55, it will turn into $2,239. And if I were to do one day less, do not have the NFT boost, watch this, it would also decrease by like $100 because now I don't lock it enough to receive my boost NFT. See, this will give us the change. Uh, so here, if I change this, it's not gonna change, obviously, because I don't have the NFT boost, but if I go to 90, this is where I would have uh, the NFT that is activated. You'll see that on the table, actually. It calculates the start date and the end date of the uh, NFT. Right, so feel free to play around with your variables. Let's see how you want to play the investment. And also uh, note that you will be able to have several CDs. So you'll be able to assess the performance of all your CDs to know when you want to take profit or not. Okay, so just uh, if you were to... So NFTs are the only thing that is available uh, to buy right now on the website. And if you want to go and get one you basically go on the website and you have to be on the avax uh, network click on connect app show me the nfts you select the one that you want and obviously i don't have enough gas uh and the price so but you will go in there and click on mint uh there's a, there's not a lot remaining uh, on alphas and beta and gamma so i strongly encourage you guys to go and get one if you want one before lunch especially when it gives you access to the whitelist uh, pre-sale and get this Delta tokens at $12, which we'll know uh, will go immediately to $55 after lunch because of this PSM, right? So I think it's a no brainer, but again, not financial advice. So let's start to wrap up. Sustainability and risk. I mean, this is a massive ecosystem. There's multiple ways to invest and get a return investment. There's multiple revenue streams that are already, that will already be present at launch. I love that they have a price stability mechanics. Uh, that's really good. Uh, we've seen the positive result of this on Furio or LMS. Like I said, there's well protection. There's burning mechanism. It's deflationary. Uh, so that, that could create a huge potential price appreciation, especially after they remove the PSM after a certain time. There's de decaying APY. So it's not those crazy unsustainable APY that will last forever uh, that don't work. As you see, there's a large team behind this. Most of them are doxxed. Um, there's an impressive roadmap. There's a lot of partnership with this um, protocol with MDB, with Warfi, GameSub, the Rebellion project, Unchain Alliance. So they're really present everywhere, and I like this. Uh, there's also a safety function I forgot to mention. If there, if there were a case where there was not enough delta to pay for the CDs, there's also a minting function, function so we don't get stuck. Some risks, though, um, some of the function of the contract are not... Uh, automatically control, uh, so to speak. So they're, they're tweaked by humans, such as the buy and sell stack. So it's not typically decentralized as we want to. So, and if you don't like this, then that could be a risk for you. It's kind of a new concept. There's a lot of, uh, like the certificate of deposit is the first in the blockchain, as I'm aware. Bridging all those like revenue streams with like the certificate of deposit and, and dividend, it's really a new concept and it could be considered as a risk because we don't know if it works or not, right? Uh, they haven't done audits yet, but I, I know that it's in the, um, in the in the roadmap, in the plan. So I wouldn't worry too much about this one. And also, it's a complex project. right? So there's a lot to integrate. As you see, everything needs to work uh, correctly. There's a lot to work to do integration. And so that could be a source of complexity that could create some uh, mini bumps in the road. So we have to be aware of that. Other than that, a um, lot of aspects that are very innovative. And so to conclude... I see Delta Finance as a full ecosystem suite with multiple revenue stream. It's a nice medley of DeFi concept, finance concept, but that we pair with actual revenue streams, right? To remove the Ponzi uh, side of things. 
There's a very ambitious roadmap and very innovative concept. It's made with a team that is well known uh, in the space, as you've seen, you know, Pelton or Modicals or um, Crypto Senseis, you know, really well known people in the space. In terms of key dates, what you have to remember is beginning of December this year, we'll have the seed round to, to start to invest. The pre sale and public sale will be open January 8th, 2023. Uh, launch date will be shortly after the pre sale. And then, like I said, you might want to get a core NFT now because that will give you the ability to buy the token at $12 tax free at launch. Uh, and all those uh, tokens that you buy will be vested over seven days and locked for one month. Uh, you have to remember that it's immediate gain because the price will go right at $55 after we launch because of the PMS, right? So call to action. There's a lot to digest here. So please read the white paper, read, uh, review this video again, join the discord, join my telegram. Um, so I can keep answering questions about the protocol. I would love to do that. I think it's going to take time for people to learn about all the, <laughs> the process and kinks of this protocol. But that's what makes it, that's what makes it so fascinating, and also play around with the ROI calculator sheet to see what strategy you're gonna leverage uh, based on your risk tolerance. And there you go, guys. I know that was a lot, but I hope that gives you a good taste of like this mastodont that is Delta Finance and what they're trying to pull off. It's pretty massive. So thanks for watching. I hope that you like the content of this video, and I hope to see you on the Telegram channel where I keep answering questions about this protocol. Until then, take care, guys.